Let's talk about center of mass. Uh, this is oftentimes called center of gravity as well. Um, the only time these two aren't the same is if something is really, really, really tall, like a really, really tall building, because remember, gravity is inversely proportional to the distance from the two objects. So if you had a really tall building, the gravity would be weaker farther from the Earth than closer to the ground. But for everyday objects, even tall buildings in, in cities around here, center of gravity and center of mass are about the same. And what they are basically is the uh, point of an object's average positional mass. So if you take an object and you can get it to balance, wherever that point is that it balances is the center of mass. Pretty straightforward. Um, so for a ball, if I take a ball and I throw it and it's spinning, it's going to spin probably around somewhere here in the center. That's pretty easy, right? Now let's say if I took this bat and I threw it so that it was moving and spinning around itself. It would spin around its center of mass too, but the center of mass for this bat, because I've got more mass up here, would probably be up in this area, okay? And that would be the center of mass upon which the bat continued to rotate, okay? Um, for a triangle, remember in geometry, a center of mass, if I have the height of the triangle of H, it's going to be H divided by 3, which will put it, made it a little too big there, h divided by 3 would probably be right about there, okay? So the center of mass will probably be right about there, okay? For a cone, the center of mass is going to be, again, if I have this as h, it's going to be h divided by 4, which would put it up right about there. Uh, there's some objects that have a center of mass outside of the object. Well, how can that happen? Well, if I have a boomerang, if you ever notice boomerangs, when they rotate around their center of mass, their center of mass is outside of the actual object. So that can actually happen. That happens oftentimes in systems. <clears throat> also, sometimes when we look at uh, stars uh, in, in, in other galaxies, uh, astronomers can actually tell that they have planets around them. Well, you can't see planets. Planets don't produce any light. How can you tell that there's a planet there? Well, it's because they can see the star wobbling. Now, why would the star wobble? Well, again, the star and its planets make up a system or a unit that's rotating around its center of mass. So if there are large planets around a star, then the center of mass will not be in the star itself. It will be somewhere outside that, and you will see the star wobble. That movement of the star is due to a center of mass outside of the actual star. So these are some examples of centers of mass and uh, why different objects can have different types of center of mass.